Hello guys, how are you? I am Dr. Ramya, your Afghan Guru. So I hope you are all doing well. So now the time has come where we have to learn about the updates, right? Yes, there's too much hype about the updates, but don't worry. All the updates are reaching to you in a very simplified manner by, my, by me. So you already have the other updates video on the YouTube, right? Now posting you one more small update regarding the anticoagulation therapy. So normally the classical learning of us on based on the anticoagulation therapy was what? So whenever less than 13 weeks, we used to give warfarin because we shift warfarin to low molecular weight apparent because warfarin has the risk of contrary syndrome, right? 13 to 36 weeks, we used to give warfarin beyond 36 weeks apparent. This was our classical. But now, according to Williams 26th edition, so according to Williams 26th edition, there is an update guys, there is an update. So according to Williams 26th edition, the dose of the warfarin, based on the dose of the warfarin, we have the further replacement. So if the warfarin dose is less than 5 mg per day, you continue the warfarin therapy and closely monitor the INR values. If INR is between 2 point and maintain the INR between 2.5 to 3. So guys, if the warfarin dose is less than 5, you don't require to shift the warfarin to low molecular weight heparin. You can continue the warfarin itself. This is an update, update, update. Right? Okay. And then, but warfarin has long half-life and warfarin can go into the fetal circulation and keep the blood of the fetus also in the anticoagulant effect, which causes the uh, which causes the intraventricular hemorrhages in the baby. So, you should not give warfarin at the time of delivery, right? So, continue a warfarin less than 5 mg, but at 36 weeks, convert the warfarin to low molecular weight heparin or IV unfractionated heparin, right? So, that is an update, guys. So, see the warfarin dose if it is less than 5 mg per day and if the INR is being maintained. So, just stick to less than. See, this is a Williams, but there is a mistake here. Both sides you have written less than or equal to. How is that possible? So, if it is less than and INR levels are maintained between 2.5 to 3, you can just at 36 weeks convert to low molecular weight apparent or IV fractionated apparent. Right, so when, when the warfarin dose is more than 5 milligrams per day and in the first trimester, you can convert the warfarin into low molecular weight apparent. So in the first trimester, convert the warfarin to low molecular weight apparent. Closely monitor the anti 10 peak levels 4 to 6 hours after the dose. So closely monitor the anti 10 peak levels 4 to 6 hours after the dose. So, goal is anti 10 level should be between 0.8 to 1.1 units per, I think it's 0.8 to 1 units per. <clears throat> Even if you can't remember this uh, anti 10 levels, it's fine. But mainly you have to convert it to low molecular weight apparent, right? Next, or you can also convert to unfractionated apparent. <clears throat> In second and third trimester, in second and third trimester, convert back to the warfarin therapy. So that is up to 13 weeks, up to 13 weeks, continue the low molecular weight apparent or unfractionated apparent. So when dose is more than or equal to 5, then your previous same story. So up to 13 weeks, continue the low molecular weight apparent and unfractionated apparent. So from 13 to 36 weeks. From 13 to 36 weeks, convert back to warfarin and maintain the INR 2.5 to 3. At 36 weeks, convert to again low molecular weight apparent, yeah, IV unfractionated apparent. If you are doing vaginal delivery, low molecular weight apparent and unfractionated apparent are very short half life. So continue IV unfractionated apparent until 4 to 6 hours before delivery. Caesarean section, discontinue anticoagulation before surgery. Postpartum, you have, warfarin takes more time to action, guys. Warfarin can't act immediately. 
it's slow it is like a lazy bug starting also low slow stopping also slow right so reinitiate the iv iv unfractionated apparent or low mark levit apparent plus warfarin so you want to do sandwich or bridging this is called bridging once the inr is 2.5 to 3 stop unfractionated apparent or low mark levit apparent and just continue the warfarin so i hope all of you are clear with the anticoagulation so whenever the patient requires anticoagulation like if they have prosthetic valves or atrial fibrillation risk then we start them on anticoagulation so now warfarin dose may depends if warfarin is less than 5 and inr is maintained between 2.5 directly shift the warfarin to low molecular weight apparin or unfractionated apparin at 36 weeks but if warfarin dose is more then there is risk of contrady syndrome that is midline facial defects mid nasal hypoplasia cleft lip cleft palate and chondrodysplasia punctata and then what you have to do is you have to shift you have to shift warfarin to low molecular weight heparin you have to shift warfarin to low molecular weight heparin right so convert to low molecular weight heparin or unfractionated heparin up to 13 weeks 13 to 36 weeks start warfarin back at 36 weeks again convert to low molecular weight heparin or unfractionated heparin that's all so i hope all of you are clear with this entire thing so this is an update guys so all the best keep studying any other videos if you want or you are you want me to do definitely message me i'll do it for you thank you guys all the best keep studying